Eclipse Gen 2 is here, so we finally get to test it. Gen 1 was out for such a short time before this was announced, and we only like to test things once, so we wait for the final versions. Sorry, Phil. Took a while. Eclipse is a complete system, and its goal is to use high crush and high concavity to reach 200 FPS ultra stock performance. Let's see if its performance has us over the moon. Our Gen 2 setup is a pair of Eclipse wheels given to us by Phil from Open Philo Project when we were at Endwar. We printed the Eclipse cage from the OFP website. The motors are Fang revamps and we used a Kelly Industries motor board to help us solder. There's also some rubber noise reduction pads in there, but those didn't help too much on 3S. It sounds like a police siren when you rev it up. Mop. Mop. We've always heard that Eclipse needs a ton of RPM to reach good velocities. Overvolted to 3S, we got these FPS numbers with their respective dart types. As you can see, AccuFakes got by far the best numbers, but that's likely because of their lightweight. We also tested 10 of each dart outside at 50-ish feet just to see how darts actually perform at these speeds. Waffles were the best, but we saw no real differences between the other dart types. Accuracy overall is better than we expected it to be, but not much better than other non-guided flywheel systems. We see similar accuracy out of high crush worker wheel setups if they have any length of non-rifled fill barrel. Now that we got that out of the way, we decided to test the theory that Eclipse needs higher RPM to reach optimal velocities. We tested all the same dart types, this time on 2S, that's around 37,000 RPM, and we got numbers that were not a whole lot lower than 3S, but they were much more consistent. Sure, we never once broke 200 or even got close to it, but most shots were within 5 FPS of each other as opposed to the 30 FPS spread on 3S. This lack of consistency tells us that the system is probably having a hard time maintaining grip. Maybe there's room for performance to increase, but we feel like we're starting to see the limits of what's possible with current Dart and Flywheel tech. Dart damage is something that's been a hot topic for Eclipse since it first hit the market, so it'd be unfair if we didn't take a look at that. On 2S, the dart damage is a bit less severe than our gold standard for FPS, which has always been original worker wheels on a high crush 41.5 cage. There were four decaps out of 36 AccuFake darts, two on fake men guns, and none on waffles or real men guns. Here's some of the darts after going through the system once. First, the worst defenders, and then an average sampling. On 3S, it's a completely different story. The carnage is real. Every single dart type suffered heavy casualties here with at least three decaps, but up to seven with light take darts. Your glue doesn't stand a chance. This rips foam apart. It's a dart killer. Given the minor increase in FPS, we don't feel overvolting to 3S is viable given a good chunk of your darts will just end up being heads and tips going in directions other than where you were actually aiming. Add in you'll need ear protection to even use this thing on 3S. It's clear it's not worth it. Unless you're an extreme min-maxer, then probably still not worth it. Overall, we feel the 2 in Gen 2 should stand for 2S, as in Fang revamps on 2S. Sure, we're biased, but the ball bearings and slim batteries are really nice, as well as not having to use a MOSFET. Plus, there's something incredibly cool about a 175 FPS blaster that looks completely stock. Hashtag sleeper style. All that said, this comes with a huge caveat. Installation of the wheels is not easy. They absolutely must be aligned within a fraction of a millimeter if the system's going to work properly. On top of that, the shaft fit is very tight and we had to use our drill press to push them on. We do not recommend this system for anyone other than the very advanced modder. If you're new to modding or you've only done a couple of blasters, get someone to help you with this. If you mess up putting the wheels on, you can easily bend a shaft, break a motor, mess up the cage, mess up the wheels, mess up your alignment, there's an installation tool, but it's far from foolproof. This is just some of the installations we've done in the past nine months. And we're telling you this is hard. Thank you so much for watching. There's a link in the description for our complete testing spreadsheet. Also, follow Open Flywheel Project on Facebook for updates on availability. Bye.